I've been thinking of a way of how to explain this and I think I've figured it out. First stop of the day, Staples. Let's get it done. All right, so let's go with a brief explanation as to what's going on here. I was born in Reno, where my dad lived, but I was raised in LA, where my mom lived. And I moved to LA a long, long time ago when I was really, really young. Every other season, every other holiday, I would fly back and forth from LA to Reno to visit my dad. On one of those trips, my dad ended up getting married to this girl named Crystal. So my dad ends up getting married, right? Now I'm flying from LA to Reno. I'm only in Reno for a few months at a time. And on one of those trips, there was more people there. <gasps> we moved these two from their little house to our five bedroom ranch house on a place called Pond Ranch. So my dad and the other lady ended up getting a divorce. They were only married for a year. I didn't see Summer until 2003 when Summer got a little bit bigger. So I let Summer hold on to my property deeds of trust for safekeeping. And I gave her a whole stack of them to hold on to. Summer vanished soon after. You see, ever since the divorce, Summer and her mom thought they were entitled to the entire estate. What happened when Summer vanished? Well, we know that Blake Smith somehow got a hold of the property deeds and developed on the land that same year. The property deeds are taken, okay, and I'm just going through it in town. I'm going through every kind of adversity possible just because of all these property deeds, right? And in 2005, I'm looking on Facebook, and what do I see? All of these people hanging out together at the bar. Why is that a problem, you ask? Well, in 2012, you see, I opened up a PayPal account in my name, but it was already opened, and my Aunt Michelle was already transferring $5,000 through it. Basically, my aunt is using the bar and the apartments upstairs to funnel money from the property deeds in what's a murder for hire, social bullying, and setups all from Reno, where the property deeds were taken. And not only that, Summer admits that an official actually took the property deeds and they developed on the land. So let's check out those text messages here real quick. So here we see, I'm asking Summer where the property deeds are. She's telling me that a cop went to her apartment and took them. The footage you're about to see is a case where I sent an email to these people telling them, hey, you know what? Stop the bullying. Stop socially bullying me by spreading lies and all this drama from the money you took from the stolen property deeds. And this is the day at court when I sent the email to stop them from socially bullying. All right, here's the email sent, a real nice email sent as a block, a group with all the other hacking emails they used, along with all the other accounts and the ways that they transferred the money, along with cold hard cash. But this was an email sent Real polite, asking him to stop. We are at the courthouse. It's going down today, folks. What's gonna happen? Stay tuned. First screenshot, all right. So she's using my first, my last name, her first name. Shea Wolf, never met, watched, notice. But I made it to the top. You guys wanna see what I'm looking at? It's pretty, it's pretty cool. Are you ready? Here we go. And just like that, it got a safe landing. Not too bad. So there's downtown Reno. And that's the view that we got right there. Pretty sick. I'm always nervous when I land this thing, especially on the car, because it's so nerve wracking. But that's my little explanation as to what happened.